Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This time I have come up with the watercolor demonstration for this painting. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use a limited number of colors to make a decent watercolor painting. So let's start. So we do the initial thumbnail sketch for the tonal study from the reference picture. And the first wash that we do is of the sky and the reflection of the sky in the water by mixing pyrrole red and cerulean blue. And we lift off pigment from the trees because we are going to, uh, you know, put a different uh, color combination for the trees later on. And... Uh, the next wash that we are going to do is that of the foliage behind these trees. And we mix burnt sienna and thalo blue for this color combination. Uh, I'm using a different brush for this uh, because I need to fill large areas um, of um, this, you know, particular element of painting and um, one thing I would like to tell you or point out is that uh, the color temperature for this foliage is largely warm and as you can see I'm lifting off a little pigment from the top of the uh, areas of this foliage the, the reason for this is that you know you want to soften the uh, elements that are in the background uh, there shouldn't be any harsh edges in the elements in the background and then uh, we go to the next step so now uh, we go to the, uh, the the trees again which are in the foreground the popular trees uh, we mix pyrrole red and thalo blue for the for this color combination, and um, as you can see, it's it's a saturated um, mixture of pigments, so that you know the ba the the background does not you know sort of dominate the foreground. So foreground has to be more dominating than the background and I'm using a smaller flat brush to fill in these areas uh, because using a bigger brush can risk uh, the areas which are there for the trees and for the reflection I'm using a little darker mixture of the same uh, colors and I'm using a rough uh, dry strokes for these reflections. After this, we go to the areas which are near the foreground. And uh, these ones are the darkest in the whole painting. And I'm using a mixture of four colors, romb, ultramarine blue, burnt umber and neutral tint to arrive at this um, mixture of colors and uh, to make it darker than rest of the color combinations uh, i used neutral tint as i said in my previous video neutral tint is neither warm nor cool it adds to the darkness of any hue. So we made a hue with raw umber, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And then we added the neutral tint which made it made, made the whole mixture darker. Now as you can see I'm lifting off a little pigment from the base of the, the these areas because uh, we have to sort of mimic the reflection uh, in the water. 
and it has to be softer and now we go to the trees again and we have to darken the trees uh, and I'll use the same mixture but uh, darken it a little more um, and I'll darken the areas the the center or the middle areas or the median areas of the trees so that we get that cylindrical feeling that is there in every tree and we're going to add a little bit of detailing here and there you know you have these particular notches dark notches um, in in poplar trees so i'm going to make those areas and uh, also uh, i'm going to uh, add you know branches and other elements which make a tree denser uh, i am now using a detailing brush it's it's a it's a round brush but is uh, more pointed so this helps us in lending finer details to the uh, trees and uh, I'll continue doing so for all of them and it will add depth to the whole scene and after this uh, I'm going to use rough dry strokes to fill in the branches to give an impression of the branches um, and I'm going to add as a as you can see I'm adding details near the uh, you know the base of the trees because usually near the base of the trees uh, the snow does not you know accumulate and for the background uh, for the foliage I am da I'm darkening it with another brush um, it again will make you know the whole scene um, a little more realistic and uh, I'm still continuing adding the twigs and small you know plants uh, here and there and uh, I am also trying to ensure that I don't overdo the details uh, for this area which is covered by snow because if I do so uh, it will stop giving us the impression of snow now there are certain elements near the you know edge of ground which touches the water and here I am uh, going to add a little bit of uh, detailing and continue uh, making the reflections now after this we need to darken the portion of painting which is the water it needs to be darkened because uh, water always looks more darker especially uh, near the areas close to the ground and I'm going to use a, a darker blue for this one and I'm lifting certain areas here and there to make it look like how reflections look in water now I'm again going to add a little bit of detailing uh, sort of uh, final strokes or finishing touches in the form of um, you know a little bit of detailing here and there of say dry leaves twigs and their reflection one important thing to remember is that now we are at the final stages of this painting and it's very crucial that we don't overdo this 
detailing exercise uh, and uh, you know it's very tempting to continue adding details but 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 you know you got to stop yourself uh, you got to resist that temptation um, so you got to be very careful about that uh, so um, even though i'm trying to limit myself in going overboard uh, but my discerning eye says that um, we are almost done and uh, now these reflections uh, you know the, the the base of the trees in the reflection in the reflection needs to be darkened uh, and i think we're done with the uh, most of the work and now i'm doing a little bit of rough brush strokes in certain areas uh, so we're almost there and uh, i hope you like this painting i hope you like this demonstration i would really like you to uh, share your feedback tell me what's working for you what's not working for you or if you need any help or if you think that uh you know there is something that you want me to correct in what i am explaining uh do let me know and uh, as i said the final stage is when you put in your signature and then a little bit of opaque white to signify the you know snowy uh, areas on the branches and here we lift the masking tape and voila we are done with the painting thank you